and not with consciousness, um, who you, uh, which is who you are. We are all one consciousness. This is the irony. I don't care if you're bloody Jewish or, or black or middle class or white American. We're all the same consciousness. If, 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 um, ultimately, if you go high enough, having different experiences. And we get divided and ruled by uh, self-identity with this. That's what racism is. Utterly bloody stupid. Now, humans. What are humans? Humans are software programs. Different software programs running through the body computer. We, we say these things, I'm only human. No, you're not. That's an experience you're having. It's the vehicle's program which manifests as what we call the human body and the human being. Software program. This is uh, in the San Francisco Chronicle, an article on DNA. DNA is a universal software code. From bacteria to humans, the basic instructions for life are written with the same language. It's all a computer game of great sophistication, and this is part of it. And the difference between a mouse and a human in DNA code terms is fractional compared with the difference in the way the body manifests. DNA is made up of four codes, A, C, G, and T. I think I'm made up of G and T and G and T, me, but there you go. Um, a, C, G, and T. And these different codes, um, how they relate to each other decides how the physical uh, form manifests, whether it's a wolf or an ant or a virus or a human being. And it's interesting how... Uh, the, the, the codes on the computer's uh, screens in the Matrix movie, which was very, very close to reality, not totally, but very close to reality in so many ways, very illustrative of the, uh, the way we decode reality for, into an illusory physical state, but I'm quite right, those codes were very much like the DNA codes in so many ways, because on one level, this reality, like I say, is, is, is digital. And uh, I'll get to that uh, uh, as we go along. Now, what they're doing now, of course, is having what they call um, computer brain interfaces, where they're connecting computers to the brain, and the brain is working the computer without, without hands being used. And the reason they can do that is quite simple. They're connecting two computer systems, one extraordinarily more sophisticated than the other, but still the same in theme. The human body ticks box after box after box in terms of a highly sophisticated computer system. When your computer gets a virus and uh, you start to see a problem, it maybe slows down or whatever, and as the virus gets uh, more and more a hold of the computer, I've had this done uh, to me, eventually the computer won't even switch on anymore. And what do we say? Hey, my computer's dead. And what happens at what we call human death is the computer shuts down and who we are leaves. Eternal consciousness leaves. Our computers go into sleep mode where it shuts everything down and everything just ticks over. That's what we do. Our computer shuts down and ticks over. We call it sleep. Although I have to say, I didn't get any last night. Crikey. I can't get, into Brit I can't get out of British time. I've been here a week. And the bad news is, this is the time I should be asleep. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Norton antivirus and all these antivirus things, what do they do? They protect the computer from external attacks, viruses and what have you. And that's what the human immune system does in an extraordinarily more sophisticated way. Protects the computer system, the body computer system, from attacks. And just with, like, uh, computer um, antivirus systems, if a new virus comes out which it's not programmed to, uh, to, 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 to repel, then the computer gets completely taken over. Yeah, this is what happens with the human uh, computer system, uh, antivirus system, which is why when the Europeans went to North America, they took with them uh, a smallpox, which the Native Americans had not uh, uh, encountered before, and bingo, they fell like flies because their uh, um, antivirus system, their immune system couldn't cope. On the left is a, or um, well my left, your left, yeah, my right, is um, a, a, a picture taken at the uh, Necker Hospital in Paris when they put a um, tracer dye into the acupuncture points um, of the body and they photographed it, the meridian system, etc. 
And I looked at that when someone showed it to me, and it reminded me immediately of a motherboard, which is basically what that meridian system is. It's energy, and that energy is information. Everything in this reality is information in various forms, vibrational information, digital information, uh, uh, electrical information, being decoded. That's why the, how the whole thing comes together and manifests. And what they found is that when this energy, which the Chinese in acupuncture called qi, um, is going around these, this system too slowly, from optimum, people manifest some kind of illness or dis-ease. Why? Because the qi is information, and if the information is not passing around quick enough, then the body computer does not function as it should. When a, a computer on your desktop gets a virus, what's the first thing that people say most often? Hey, my computer's slow, because the information's not passing around as it should. And what acupuncture does is put the acupuncture needles in to manipulate the flow of this energy, bring it back to optimum, and therefore physical health. In a computer, the central processing unit, the CPU, is the, the processor, processor of information, the information traffic. Um, what they call in computer parlance the CPU is the brain of the computer. Very appropriate, because this is our CPU, which is constantly um, filtering and dealing with the information traffic, passing it around the body, information, receiving information back from different parts of the body, and it is responding according to the information that we're receiving. And that's how we stay healthy, that's how, in optimum terms, we think straight and we have balanced emotions. If you intervene into that, process, you can manipulate people mentally, emotionally, and physically. So it, in the end, it's all about the way we are decoding reality into this physical world which only exists in our head. And you can intervene into that, like I say. The DNA, the genetic structure in general, is like the hard drive that holds the, the, the base information and takes on more information as you experience. And, like I say, it's not just the physical level, there's an energetic level, in fact the body's just energy really, um, but there's an energetic level and together that forms the body computer entity. And what we call races, cultures, and all these different expressions of, of the human family, they are just software programs which we have to experience. Um, and the software programs uh, uh, are very clear when you get into some of this stuff. This guy is called William Sheridan. And uh, he was in a New York hospital waiting for a heart transplant. And to take the time as he was waiting, he joined an art therapy class. And he was, like me, a rubbish artist. Um, and that's the kind of stuff he was drawing at best at the top. And then he had this heart transplant, and as he was recovering, he went back to the art therapy course, and he started producing much more sophisticated drawings. And uh, he eventually met the mother of the, the man whose heart he um, was given, and asked the obvious question, because no one could explain what had happened, including the art therapist lady, who was bewildered by the difference. Um, he asked uh, the mother if, if, the, if the donor um, had any... Uh, interest in art and she said interest he wanted art uh, materials more than toys by the age of 18 months he was crazy about art and there is a doctor in America who's done a major study on this of how when people receive transplanted organs and again the heart is the most uh, obvious in this the most powerful in this but other organs too like the lungs they take, people have in uh, significant numbers taken on the aptitudes and the personalities or personality traits of the donor. Why? Because it's a download in a sense. You are taking um, information 
energetic information, we decode it as physical, but it's energetic, energetic information, and you're putting it into, downloading it into another computer, and that information then becomes available to that computer and starts to affect the, the, the way that it perceives reality. Uh, my great friend uh, in um, Africa, Kredo Mutwa, the Zulu shaman, who's closing in on 90 now, uh, 